your personal brand is the first thing that comes to mind when someone mentions your name. And you want to control what that is. Because when we're talking about who you are professionally, if you think about it, you're going to spend probably north of 60% of your time when you're not sleeping at work. You're going to spend most of your life doing whatever it is that you do for a living. So it seems to me you should probably like what you're doing. So that's sort of my personal philosophy. I always believe, first of all, your work is who you are. It says a lot about you. Not just what you do, but how you do it. How well of a job you do, how well a job you do, how good a job you do. At whatever it is you do for a living, it says a lot about you personally. So I love Mark Cuban's quote. It's not just business, it's personal. Every business is personal. It's all personal. It's all about people. Whatever you do professionally, it's all about people. And I am not just making this stuff up. I check all my resources, check my statistics, check my facts. Of course, things change all the time. But these are some of the sources I used to garner the information that I'm sharing with you today, including my own personal 25 years of experience um, in, in business and in education. Do you know that almost half of the people are waiting tables or flipping burgers have a college degree? That scares me. That, that scares me. There are PhDs right down the street at McDonald's. Would you like fries with that? So, what you're doing, getting your education, is, is very important and it's very good that you're doing that, but there's other lessons that we all need to learn and that we all need to be reminded of, which is why I'm here with you today. Did you know more than 60% of people who get jobs today do so through networking? It ain't just shotgunning your resume out into the internet. People get jobs, people get promotions, people move from place to place based on relationships. First things first, this is a great question. Someone asked me this a long, long time ago and I've never forgotten. If every single job on the earth, from the guy sitting in the White House to the guy who cleans the bathrooms in this building, if every job paid $2 an hour, what would you do for a living? See, because at that point, it's all about whether you like what you're doing. You need to think about jobs that way. And I, from my own personal experience, I was always happy doing what I was doing. I, I always tried to make the decision that whatever I do for a living, I need to enjoy it. Because if, like I said before, you're going to spend most of your waking hours at work. If you are miserable in your job, what kind of life is that? Networking, for me, is seeking out people who are in an industry or people who are doing something that I'm interested in, that I would perhaps like to be a part of, uh, an industry perhaps I'd like to join. That, to me, is networking. Because what you need to remember is every relationship is, is, is two-way street. So you need to be able to offer that person something for their time. You know what I'm saying? That's why, I, that's why networking is important, having your own network. Build a professional online presence. How many of you use LinkedIn? Very, very good idea. LinkedIn is the professional on is a professional um, social media outlet, similar to Facebook. It's a professional Facebook, is basically what it is. Um, I'm on LinkedIn. All my friends are. Most of the professional people I know are on LinkedIn. It's a great way, not only to network and to build relationships, but also to find employment. How do you know what groups to join on LinkedIn? Well, I went to Edward R. Murrow High School in Brooklyn. So, start with your high school. I went to Gordon College. You see what I'm saying? All the, you're, you're, everyone is part of a group. All of you are at least part of one group that I guarantee you is on LinkedIn. Your high school, your college, if you are a, a Mason, if you're, in a, if you're a veteran, whatever. Everyone's part of at least one group that's on LinkedIn. So that's where I got started. I served on the Roosevelt when I was in the Navy. I worked for minor league baseball. I was actually invited to join the Major League Baseball Players alumni. I did not play Major League Baseball in the interest of full disclosure. 